So a very good afternoon to everybody and welcome to the Sparkle and Learn series of webinars that we're hosting here at PPMA. And uh, great to see you, for those of you who are regulars and for those of you who are new to this experience. And uh, a special thanks on this um, beautiful sunny Friday, I was going to say Sunday, though, Friday here in Shoreham by Sea. And uh, a warm welcome to uh, colleagues from Salford and the brilliant Sam Betts, Assistant Director of HR and OD. Sam, welcome. Good to see you. Sam is also a member of PPMA um, board and our current HR Director of the Year. So great to have you here and thank you for giving your time, especially, and we know how um, challenging things are up there for you and the great work that you're doing. So please take our thanks back to your colleagues and um, yeah, we wish you well. But before we kick off, the question that I've been asking everybody, Sam, is our guests. Um, what one thing from last week um, do you appreciate most of all, putting you on the spot? Something you've appreciated from your experience this week? My puppy sleeping through the night. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. You know, it's, it's amazing the number of people who've acquired puppies during uh, this last 12 months, isn't it? been a, const, a constant feature of guests who appeared on the programme. So it was a full night's sleep, was it? It was, it was. We've got full toilet control now, so <laughs> <laughs> things are going and, great. <laughs> and I think puppy's name is Ziggy. It is. For everybody out there in the world of wanting to know about the PPMA puppy family, <laughs> Ziggy, because uh, Sam and the gang are all big fans of David Bowie, like my good self. So a very warm welcome. Great to see you all, especially colleagues as well from Barclays. And I really look forward to hearing all about uh, this case study, uh, the Salford City team in partnership with um, Barclays for our award last year, PPMA Award for um, Best Learning and Development Initiative. So it would be fantastic to see what you've been up to. Thank you, Sam, and over to you and I'll catch you at the end of the programme. Thanks very much for the um, intro, Lethem, and um, I'm absolutely delighted to, to be here virtually um, to introduce and share our Salford story. So, so um, many of you probably won't even know where Salford is. We're part of the Greater Manchester um, Combined Authority, so we're part of um, the conurbation up in the northwest. Um, and Salford's been on a quite considerable journey of change and transformation for a number of years. Um, really setting the context as, as all um, public sector organisations like ours have been of reducing uh, resources whilst there's still been considerable growth in the city. Um, so we needed to develop new ways of working, working with our partners uh, to make the best use really of our collective resources and really think differently about how we delivered our services. So back in 2014-15, uh, we embarked upon a digital transformation program um, and that the whole thing was to look at how we could uh, maximize digital technologies to make things and we had a bit of a strap line quicker easier and better um, for our residents when they were accessing services um, and also for our staff when they were undertaking their their job roles um, and this transformation program, it's really key to say, wasn't about tech. So I think quite often when you talk about digital transformation, everybody thinks you're just talking about plugging in new technologies. But we have a, a real strong view in Salford that um, digital is actually about people. Um, and, and actually through PPMA colleagues and some sessions that, that I did um, with, with some of our sponsors, um, particularly they always talk about digital and people work better together. So if you're tra transforming any of your processes, your ways of working, your, your ways of doing things, that you don't just plug tech in, you design your, your new solutions together. And I could talk to you for ages about our approach to transformation and change, but that's a, a completely um, different session. Um, so we realized quite early on in this digital transformation program, that we'd overestimated the digital skill set um, of our people who worked for, for the city council and were in danger really of leaving people behind or excluding them and people becoming demoralized because they couldn't keep up with the scale and, and pace of change. So, so we knew we really had to do think a bit differently um, about how we um, 
develop the skills of our people to enable them to to maximize the technologies that, that we were introducing um i i didn't have a huge training budget um so like many many people that was the first thing to go in in um, when austerity hit us back in 2010 yet i'd got um a real challenge there about um the, the digital skills of, of the workforce and we were driving forward uh, a digital first approach in how we were looking to deliver our services and and actually the old way we used to deliver digital skills training just wouldn't have cut it people um were were quite reticent about coming forward and and saying that they needed help so would they really sign up to an ecdl course or something like that no they might actually just uh, ask a colleague or a friend i really don't know how to do this so so round about the same time we we started to develop a closer working relationship with with barclays who are our partners um in in this program and I think that's where the digital eagles, um, uh, the, the Salford digital eagles, I suppose, first came into, into a thought, really. It wasn't, it didn't come into fruition quickly. We'd heard about the Barclays Digital Eagles programme, um, who'd, and Barclays had been in a very similar situation to Salford with moving to a, a digital first approach, but again, ran the risk of leaving their colleagues behind as they were doing so. Um, so in partnership with, with Barclays, we've created our Salford Digital Eagles. Um, so that's the, the Barclays Eagle, but with our Salford Magenta um, laid across it. And that's our branding that, that, that we use. We have pin badges for our fantastic Eagles um, when they earn their wings. Um, and we that that when we did used to be um, more office based is prevalent all around uh, our civic center. So people know where they can access our brilliant Eagles. So we've got over four, almost 450 volunteers from across the council from frontline workers in waste and recycling to our customer services staff to youth workers and even our dog wardens um, have signed up and the key thing is they work really closely with Barclays um, and um, the Barclays program for upskilling uh, the, the digital eagles. So they volunteered because they want to help and they want to make a difference and they want to support their colleagues and our residents be comfortable and confident online and using the digital tools and technologies that we're rolling out. And because they've given their time, they volunteered, they put themselves forward on top of their day jobs. We've invested in developing their digital skills um, and capabilities. Um, and they in turn then, uh, the trusted faces, if you like, within their teams um, or working with our, our residents. So, so people are more likely to approach a colleague or a friend to say, I can't do that. And that's where our, our brilliant di digital eagles come in. So I'm hugely grateful and proud actually of our, our um, I used to say flock of eagles, but that was that seagulls, isn't it? And I think it's a convocate of, of, of eagles. Um, and they all demonstrate the spirit of Salford in, in everything that they do. Um, and I really do not know what we would have done without them during the last almost 12 months now. So like many, we, we overnight um, transferred a big part of our workforce into remote workers um, and the fantastic support um, that, that the Eagles have given our, our staff to make that transition has just been fantastic and it's not just our staff. So Kerry, I'm going to hand over to Kerry um, shortly, who's just been fantastic doing a lot of work with our elected members, because obviously all of our uh, governance and decision making arrangements had to transfer into this digital space to make sure we still complied with complied with transparency regulations and Kerry and the team have, have done phenomenal work um, with our elected members to upskill them as well. So um, we've got a snapshot of just some of what they've done um, to help our people since, since March, but I'm not gonna talk to that because actually it's carrying the work of our fantastic Eagles that are, have, have, have achieved everything um, that they have over the last 12 months. So I'd really like Kerry to, to take a lead and showcase the fantastic work that she's led for us. Thanks, Sam. Um, good afternoon, everyone. 
afternoon, everyone. So I'm Kerry Dunn. I'm a HR and OD business partner for Salford City Council. And I was asked today just to, to share uh, my journey and the team's journey. Um, so I started at Salford in 2017 um, and quickly became an eagle because I loved the idea of um, sharing my knowledge. And even though not being necessarily a, a digital expert, but just, you know, sharing my knowledge and, and helping others, really. Um, and then became a workforce development consultant um, as an eagle in 2020. Uh, and then in March, when the pandemic hit, and um, obviously that that support and um, you know kind of became quite rapid and like Sam said the majority of our workforce had to work from home so and um, the Eagles really stepped in and we were helping people with even home set up because a lot of people were giving new laptops and new technology so helping them with that set up from home even how to do virtual calls which is funny now because it's just become the norm for us all but back it back in March it was like alien to a lot of people so um, how to do virtual calls we did one-to-one -one sessions um, sessions around train the trainer and digi safe and also our isolated employees as well because there was a lot of people that maybe lived alone and also worked at home so you know even just having that chat virtually and just supporting them from an isolated point of view um, and then as Sam said um, the elected members and um, so it was a completely different way of working for a lot of those it could be quite overwhelming for some um, and just being able to offer that time I think more importantly um, and that support maybe several sessions not necessarily just one but just that continued support um, just allowed them to be able to then carry out their responsibilities abilities. Um, and then since then, um, I know I'm involved in an OD practitioners program as well at the moment, which is working with other colleagues and um, from other organisations around how we can get our how help our organisations to thrive sort of post COVID. Um, so yeah, I'm just really grateful for the opportunities I've had as a digital legal and what I've learned as well, especially over the last 12 months has been amazing just in that short space of time. So I'm really grateful that the opportunities from a personal point of view that I've had, like I say, as an eagle, but actually all the lovely working relationships relationships that I've formed um, over the last 12 months, especially even though it's been virtual, um, I've, I've made some really lovely and um, supportive working relationships. So yeah, as, as Sam said, very proud to be an Eagle and, and work for Salford as well. So, so thank you. Thank you. Um, well, uh, firstly, I just I'd like to say what an absolute honour it's been to receive this award for our partnership with Salford City Council and what an incredible journey it's been with our Digital Eagles. Kerry, thanks so much for sharing that as well. You know, um, that's just it's it's so wholesome to kind of hear your kind of personal journey and story kind of through, through these times. Um, just to provide an overview of who we are and what we do in Barclays, we are Digital Eagle Partnerships and our mission is to help our client partners and that's anyone across uh, public and private sector organisations to understand the wider industry trends that are shifting the landscape of businesses and enabling that rapid pace of change. And our belief is that for any sort of technological, digital or cultural innovation to be really successful, an organisation must not only ensure that it's got those customer centric products and services, but that their colleague workforce are prepared for change and understand the impact that digital transformation is having pretty much on every aspect of the way that we live and work. And Digital Eagle Partnerships works alongside our partners to remove those traditional barriers that hold back organisational change. And through our programme of knowledge session events, we empower the workforce to embrace that digital transformation by raising awareness and potential for those current and emerging digital trends. Our programme is tailored to each organisation, so we've tailored one with Salford so that the individuals and teams can appreciate that positive value of disruptive change and really learn to take advantage of the opportunity that it brings. By raising the digital awareness, we can then curate new approaches in identifying and addressing real time customer and societal challenges, as Sam's kind of already alluded to. Thinking back though to the start of our Barclays digital uh, journey, we've been able to draw on our very own experience and challenges of creating that positive mindset and adoption towards a digital culture and have taken the learns to create our own bespoke playbooks that we can now support other organisations with. And our very own Digital Eagles are now a recognised global brand and help hundreds of thousands of communities, individuals and organisations every year with new digital skills and confidence online. So taking a look into our partnership with Salford City Council, when Salford uh, initially reached out to us, it was actually after viewing one of our Digital Eagle adverts. And it was so inspiring to hear, you know, their, their full ambition for the digital Salford and the sheer commitment that went into ensuring no colleague or resident was going to be left behind. We've been working with Salford now for over three years and the journey we've been so lucky to be a part of has been truly heartening. 
We've facilitated during this time several programme cohorts providing those transferable skills through our tailored learning knowledge sessions ranging from how to be a digital eagle and those core skills and attributes that make up that brand and that role through to understanding the internet of things and connected devices and cyber safety what that means to you as an individual, but also when you represent your organisation. And we've delivered those upskill sessions now to over 500 colleagues across Salford. And I think it's already been alluded to that there are already 434 active digital eagles that represent in Salford that provide the digital upskill and colleagues to residents across the borough. And over 4,000 people have been helped to date, which is just absolutely incredible in the aim of reducing digital exclusion. Through the Salford programme, we have created lead go to eagles that are empowered to lead on the specific learning and upskill across the organization and have filled two new job positions with the established digital eagles which have demonstrated additional skill sets from what they have learned through the program and have been able to exhibit through that support and upskill of others and Salford have worked so hard in empowering their colleagues and digital eagles to be that positive force for change and they show no signs of slowing down which we absolutely love We've helped Salford to create a sustainable workforce that have shown even in times such as the last 12 months, the strength that has given the organisation in pulling through and continuing to make a difference has just been phenomenal. An example for me that stands out would be the forming and building of the SOS Spirit of Salford Contact Centre in under 72 hours and helping over 1,000 residents migrate successfully to online and digital services during the pandemic, meaning those residents were st still able to get the core support that they needed during those times and that's, you know, that's just wow. We really do thank the passionate digital eagles who are the foundation of these achievements, working tirelessly day in and day out to help colleagues and residents become confident online and in learning new skills. And we're looking forward to continuing to support Salford through their journey. One of the most recent collaborations coming from our wider Barclays UK digital eagle team alongside Salford Digital Eagles in supporting schools improve digital based education and online safety. So that's so key in enabling teachers, their pupils and their families to feel confident and prepared to explore the digital world safely. And we've got those Barclays virtual digital eagle sessions going live from this week. So wish you the best of luck with those. As we continue to work with Salford, we always will encourage any other organisations to reach out to us or Salford if what we've covered is resonating with what you're experiencing, or you'd just like to find out a bit more about how digital legal partnerships can help you. But thank you so much for taking the time to kind of hear our journey so far, um, and long may it continue. But for now, I'd like to hand over to Frank at Salford. Over to you, Frank. Hi, thanks very much, Jodie. And uh, just uh, I think Carrie's been underselling herself a wee bit when she talks about the number of people she supported. Uh, one and a half thousand of our workforce have had individual one to one sessions with Carrie and the team uh, in support team over the over the last uh, uh, year. And they've been so successful that actually the, the team are integrating with our, our, our digital team. Uh, and actually, uh, when people ring our help desks, now they may they they can get an eagle or they can get somebody from a technical perspective and the interchange challenges uh, where it's a behavioural stuff the team pass it over to the eagles and vice versa and they're actually almost working as one team which is uh, absolutely amazing so uh, sorry for you're going to kill me for the saying that with Kerry but it's absolutely fantastic I, I just wanted to quickly cover well what's next uh, with the eagles as Jody said this week hot off the press we've got a, a working with the uh, wider digital eagle family to bring those uh, the support to parents, especially around the homeschooling, which we're really looking forward to uh, and think it's going to have a massive impact. Uh, we've been listening carefully to our Eagles over the last number of years. Uh, and actually, uh, they're so active, our Eagles. We're, we're starting to become more curators of learning rather than delivers learning when it comes to the Eagles, because actually they're taking on a life of their own. Uh, and we're going to be launching next month our very first digital Eagle network, where it's going to be uh, all our Eagles going to come together to monthly, monthly to learn from each other. Uh, they're already doing that online through our, our online Yammer, and any member of the organization can speak to an Eagle instantly uh, and they can help uh, resolve any of their digital uh, queries. As well as that, as an organization, we have an, an ambition uh, to help all of our workforce uh, uh, achieve what we call essential workplace skills. Uh, and the diagram here shows an actual pathway we've developed that will take individuals, even those who are most removed uh, uh, from digital, to firstly gain essential life skills, bring them uh, on to uh, uh, achieve essential workplace skills, but then actually we have a further amb ambition of actually helping people through many self-directed learning to actually achieve 
uh, comprehensive work, workplace uh, skills. And our egos are going to be critical to, to that because they're trusted faces in local places. We've tried programs in the past where we, we've uh, launched, you know, ECDLs and so on, but we weren't getting the, the traction and the engagement with the people who really needed it. But what we're finding is through our egos, they're able to talk to their colleagues and they pathway uh, uh, individuals into, into this learning pathway. Uh, so we're really looking forward in, in uh, 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 relaunching that again uh, uh, this this year, and I think one thing we have learned, and, and Kerry is just you know the personification of uh, giving people the opportunity and watch them absolutely blossom in, in what they do. Our eagles have shown an amazing ability to be able to help with things well outside of just the digital arena. Um, they help with service improvement, challenging our thinking about access and the user journeys. Uh, but our eagles uh, wanted to actually take the next step. So again, we're working with, with Barclays to, uh, to uh, give our eagles an opportunity to become a guru. So you become a digital eagle guru in a, a, a certain area. And we've, we've seen certain th things come out that are organizational priorities uh, for us. So we're going to have rapid response gurus who are essentially, you can call on, a team can call on the rapid response gurus instantly uh, if they have a specific challenge they want to have addressed uh, and the eagles will wrap around them to support them. Uh, we'll have green gurus, and that's linked to our wider uh, uh, workforce uh, place strategy uh, of uh, and sustainable travel and new ways of working uh, and reducing the need for uh, paper documents using technology in, in exciting new ways. So our green gurus will be there to be able to help and guide people to uh, reduce car their carbon footprint while they're working. Uh, as you say, Jody mentioned the summer eagles have actually started to take on the role of uh, trainers. So our eagles train new eagles uh, and that's been really successful uh, and we're going to grow that uh, 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 those learning gurus so we are going to bring more people in so all of the programs we talked about there will uh, we'll be working with Barclays and our partners to deliver that but our eagles will be central to the delivery of that as well and the last uh, and I think one of the most exciting things uh, we're getting our eagles to get involved in is our workspace gurus. Uh, our learning from the recent pandemic uh, has proved work is what you do, not where we go. As an organization, we're taking an opportunity to see how we, we need to change our workplaces and workspaces to fit with uh, a more uh, fit for the future way of working. Uh, and that will require some behavior change along with technical uh, as well. And our workplace gurus will be the people that will help their colleagues transition to this new way of working. So they'll be able to give them technical skills, behavioral skills, and also work with their leaders as well on actually uh, supporting uh, uh, a, a different way of, of working. So that's kind of small snapshot of, of what we've got planned for, uh, for, for this year. Uh, and I suppose that's it from us. I uh, hope we brought it in on time. I think we've, we've given a whistle stop tour of the last three years. I mean, we could have spent four hours talking to you about everything, but we only, we only had a certain amount of time. And it's back to you, Ethan. Many thanks to you all there. And I'm so inspired by um, you know the story that you've been sharing, especially being able to kind of showcase some of our unsung heroes that um, are out there in the world of HR and OD, uh, like Kerry, you know, a huge congratulations uh, to you all and very well worthy of uh, the accolade that you received this year and uh, i wish you very all the very best for whatever you're um up to especially uh, with your gurus I'm, I'm really looking forward to finding out how that kind of uh, uh work goes yeah it's also kind of as a nice um little uh, segue into reminding everybody that um, we've just launched our ppma people in excellence awards for 2021 and stories such as um, the one that you just heard from Salford are really what we're trying to look for. And we know that there's been so many inspirational and creativity, uh, stories of creativity out there over the past year. You know, we heard there when Jody was uh, just reflecting back some of the work Salford have been doing themselves in terms of the spirit of Salford and bringing some of that learning through to enable um, our residents to be able to function throughout this uh, pandemic. So I encourage you all to kind of come forward with your own stories uh, we've got some new awards in there and one specifically around those unsung heroes you know people who are responsible for keeping the kind of the lights burning in the world of hr which is so fundamentally important to us so don't be shy and you know create that bit of time because it's uh, it's really important and it brings a lot of real positive benefit to colleagues especially when you 
kind of have the opportunity to lift lift the uh, the gong at the end of it. So I wish you all well. Um, a reminder that next week we, we're going to be joined by the Real World Group, uh, sharing some insights in terms of uh, leadership development that we've seen throughout the past 12 months. And uh, just a final message from me, and uh, today is uh, kind of um, an opportunity just to wish uh, the PPMA guru, the person that supports me behind the scenes to make all of this happen, Grace Ogden. Grace is uh, off on maternity leave today. So we wish you, Grace and Dan, the very best for the future. And we look forward to hearing about the uh, the new arrival. You will, of course, have that experience of being kept away by your new baby. But, you know, some of us will also be experiencing that um, uh, kind of joy of uh, puppy, uh, puppy, puppy parenting too. But we look forward to hearing all about you and wish you the very best of luck, Grace, and uh, we wish you well. And uh, we look forward to seeing you all next week. And thanks again, a big thanks to everybody there in Salford. Great stuff, and thank you for sharing. Bye for now, everyone. Thanks, Ethan. Bye.